Let's explore the difference between capital D double, which is a wrapper class, and lowercase d double, which indicates primitive data. You may have declared some variables with capital D double and got away with it, but we're going to learn here that that's a dangerous thing to do at this point in your programming career. I named the project double versus double, and I'll call the class capital VS lowercase double. And that's the main thing we're going to learn. We'll cover wrapper classes, that's wrapper with a W, R-A-P-P-E-R, -P -P -E later in the course. And that's what capital D double does. It creates double objects. And lowercase d is primitive data, which I started to spell correctly, and, oh, I apologize. Primitive should be all I's. There's no A in primitive data. I'm sorry that that stayed that way through the rest of the program. We'll deal with the primitive data first, the lowercase d for double. So we'll declare two double variables. You can declare whatever you want when you're writing this. I'll go with cookie rating and brownie rating. And I'll give them the same values, 4.8. Hopefully it's on a scale going up to 5, because that would make them pretty tasty. I'll display the values just to confirm that they are the same values. Looks like I'm going to have to go to another line here to get brownie rating. It will still appear on one line, of course. Just not enough room on my display to write one line of code in one line. Long sentence. Now we can display them, and they're both 4.8. So it appears they are the same. If I create an if to compare them, you would think it would come out true that they are equivalent. So I'll set up an if. If cookie rating double equals, remember, brownie rating, then I'll display a message that they are equivalent values. Otherwise, they're not equivalent values. So I'll put that in an else. And I'll just copy line 26 and put it down here in the else and simply add the word not. Then we'll run it to see what happens. They are listed as equivalent values. Cookie rating did double equals brownie rating because with primitive data, the double equal sign checks for equivalence. But when we use capital D double to declare things, we're actually creating objects. So I'll create two double objects, taco rating and burrito rating. I will give them the same numeric values. I'll give the taco rating a 4.3 and the same for a burrito rating. I'll display their values in the console. I'm going to copy lines 20 to 22 and change all the cookie and brownie ratings to taco and burrito ratings. Edit it for your time there. Oh, yep, put a new line in there to give a little spacing in the output. And it looks like taco rating and burrito rating are the same. They're both 4.3. But remember, these were declared with a capital D as double objects. So let's see what happens when we use an if to compare with a double equals. Once again, I'm going to copy a bunch of lines I've already written about cookies and brownies and change them to tacos and burritos. Taco rating and burrito rating are both 4.3, but look, they are not equivalent values. They are objects, and we've learned earlier with string objects, and it's true for all objects, double equals compares to see if you are in the same memory location. Are you pointing to the same object in memory? And they are not. These are two different objects in two different memory locations. So I added the question marks because maybe you're surprised because they appear to be equivalent, but we couldn't use double equals to test that. Because they are double objects,
we'll have to use a dot equals method, which does exist in the double wrapper class. Again, that's because they were declared with a capital D instead of a lowercase d. So they are not the same objects, they are not in the same memory location, and that's what double equals checks for when you're comparing that in an if with objects. So again, I'll write this reminder that we really need to use dot equals if we were to declare doubles with capital D. So when we run the program, now that message displays to explain why they didn't come out looking like equivalent values. So that's a danger of using capital D when you're declaring your variables instead of a lowercase d. And as I said earlier, at this point in your programming career, you want to stick with lowercase d. We'll get to the capital D stuff later in the course. So now let's try dot equals. If taco rating dot equals burrito rating, then it appears they have equivalent values stored inside them. Technically, they are equivalent objects. Let's see if we have some success with this. There, because they were declared with capital D, we had to use dot equals, which you probably wouldn't think of if you were assuming that using a capital D for double was the same as lowercase. Lowercase double, primitive data, and primitive data can be compared with a double equals sign. A capital D double is the wrapper class, classes create objects, and double equal signs there look to see if you're in the same memory location with the same object. 